Almighty God, who in your wisdom and boldness has appointed the officers of leaders and parliaments for the welfare of society and the just government of the people, we beseech you to behold with your abundant favor as your servants, <coughs> whom you have pleased to call to the performance of important trusts in this republic. Let your blessings descend upon us here assembled and grant that we treat and consider all matters that shall come and our deliberation in so just and faithful a manner as to promote your honor and glory, and to advance the peace and prosperity and welfare of our country and of those whose interest you have committed to our charge. Amen. <coughs> Order number seven, statements. 
Next number. Order number eight. Motions stroke fails. Resettlement of displacement families due to drought and insecurity. Honorable Alima Kudro Kali. Honorable Thank you, Honorable Speaker. <coughs> Motion, the settlement of displaced families due to drought and insecurity. That aware that Article 21 of Constitution of Kenya, 2010, states that it's the duty of state and every state organ to observe, respect, protect, promote, and fulfill the rights and fundamental freedoms of uh, funda fundamental freedom in the Bill of Rights. Father, aware that all the state organs all pa and all public officer officers have the duty to address the needs of the vulnerable groups within society, including women, older members of the society, persons with disability, children, youth, members of minority and marginalized communities, and members of particular ethnic and religious or cultural communities. Concerned that insecurity has been a as a result of Pastoralism, uh, pastoralists, communities wandering in, in with their livestock from their normal areas of occupancy in search of scarce resources such as pastures and water, bringing crashes brought about by intercommunal raids. Further concern that these intercommunal raids have caused displacement of families in the affected areas in, in many wards that border neighboring counties, among others. Worried to those uh, displaced families are suffering from insufficient or lack of food, shelter, water, health services, and among other basic human and livestock needs. The House, therefore, urges the executive, uh, the county executive, to alleviate the suffering of the affected families by providing them with relief supplies, alternative sources of livelihood, such as small scale businesses small-scale household irrigation with the bid to settle them, uh, to, with the bid to settle them. Thank you. Uh, honorable members, <coughs> Uh, motion, resettlement of displaced families due uh, <coughs> to drought and insecurity. That aware that Article 21 of the Constitution of Kenya 2010 states that it is the duty of the state and every state organ to observe, respect, protect, promote, fulfill the rights and fundamental freedoms in the Bill of Rights. Further aware that all state organs and all public officers have the duty to address the needs of vulnerable groups within society including women, older members of the society, persons with disabilities, children, youth, members of minority or marginalized communities, and members of particular ethnic, religious, or cultural communities, concerned that insecurity has been as a result of pastoralist communities wandering in with their livestock from their normal areas of occupancy in search of scarce resources such as pasture and water, bringing clashes brought about by intercommunal raids. Further concern that these intercommunal raids have caused displacement of families in the affected areas in many wards that border neighboring countries among others. Worried that those displaced families are suffering from insufficient or lack of food, shelter, water, health services, and among other basic human and livestock needs. <coughs> this house therefore urges the county executive to alleviate the suffering of the affected families by providing them with relief supplies, alternative sources of livelihood such as small-scale businesses, small-scale household irrigation, with the bill to settle them. The motion is now open for debate. Mr. Speaker, as far as the issue of resettlement of our people in affected areas, I think we have uh, some words which may be by Chirab, Sericho, Kina, 
and the Garbatula are the most affected, Mr. Speaker. <coughs> As for the settlement, Mr. Speaker, it is it's an old, it's an old school that we still have people being affected or replaced, displaced by insecurity. Mr. Speaker, I think we need to take serious because it is very hard for someone to be removed from the home, the original home, and go and be, you know, be a refugee in his own county, own world, or even one county. Mr. Speaker, I think the government will take action, especially the national government, in terms of security. County government will have a private and other initiative, uh, initiative for maybe the good thing, but the national government must take this in serious. I remember, Mr. Speaker, we have been talking with the, the county commissioner's office to ensure that, one, we need to put the GSU in these affected areas so that the people our people will live in our home. Mr. Speaker, just understand that whenever you are not living in your area, you lose a lot. One, you lose, you lose school there. Yeah? <coughs> children have been going to school. We have lost one. Mr. Speaker, health centers that we are building, we are losing. Mr. Speaker, also, the water, which you know all the, the scarcity in county. We are getting problem and because we understand in the same place when these people are uh, misplaced, they still come and burn our bowls. So Mr. Speaker, I think the government, the county government is going too <coughs> much of this, Mr. Speaker, because our people are really affected and they are not comfortable living. We cannot live in urban areas all of us. It is a norm of this, uh, the norm of this county that we are pastoralists. But, Mr. Speaker, I believe that the people of Visiolo have not responded to other counties. We are still living within our county. And I think we need protection. As for the motion, Mr. Speaker, we all have a right for the protection of the national government and also the county government in our way. We know the security is not informed, but Mr. Speaker, I think we are also to be seen doing something to ensure our people should not be squatters. It is very shameful that people are still in this the 20th century, people are still living in squatters. Mr. Speaker, even if we saw we have to provide the necessities, food relief, that will not bring the solution. We need to get a permanent solution for our people. These people are here, they are there because of us. And I believe we are here because of them. And we must protect them in all way possible. So Mr. Speaker, as per the member who came up with a motion, Mr. Speaker, I think uh, with your uh, the background of the security, Mr. Speaker, you can still give us or easy advice the members of affected areas to see how we can come up with a way of resettling these people and a permanent solution for this. Security, we know it is a paramount. We all need. We are migrating because of our lives. We are not doing it because we need it. We fear of our death and we have seen death coming. Mr. Speaker, with your advice, I think we will get a good way of making it to ensure that our people are settled back to their homes. It will be quite comfortable. Even if you come to this issue, it will not accommodate all of us. And we are growing county. So, Mr. Speaker, I wish to tell fellow members that this is a very mm -hmm. important motion, and it's going to help our people. If only we are going to make sure that we should, it, will not, it will not die in this house. Speaker, help us to ensure that we reset for these people. They need also. And I think their cry now have come to this house. So, Mr. Speaker, it is the use of this, this assembly to take all the mechanisms required with your leadership to ensure that we see this one being done. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I support the motion. Thank you. Honorable Mr. Speaker, I stand to support this motion. Mr. Speaker, some of these incidences where people have been displaced is over so many years ago. Mr. Speaker, it is the communities of Kenya, which is, I mean, of Siolo, which are being displaced by the neighboring counties of Wajia and Garissa. Then the area where they are displaced, actually, even the police station is deserted. The security forces run away with the, uh, the, the resident of the area and they are internally displaced and settled in the neighboring towns of Isiolo. 
like in case of the we mentioned, Mr. Speaker, these areas are quite many, that we need the people to be returned back to their areas of domicile. The properties of the built by the government have been destroyed, like the schools, the police stations, personal properties have been destroyed, and now those aggressors actually forcefully settled with the help of their leaders from the neighboring counties and the national government to some extent, Mr. Speaker, employed chiefs and administrative units in the area which our people have been displaced, Mr. Speaker. This issue is very serious, Mr. Speaker, because you find the government, security forces and the administration run away with our communities which are displaced to the interior of the county. Then the aggressors from the neighboring counties come and settle. Mr. Speaker, where government also employs chiefs and administration police are put in place. And then the, 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 the constituency fund of the neighboring counties invest in that area, Mr. Speaker, build the schools and other facilities. Mr. Speaker, this is a very serious crime. We are now our the displaced people blame even the national government of having had a need, Mr. Speaker. And it is over a long time. Those soldiers which have been which run away with the local communities live in a place like Garbatula in case of uh, Uchan, Mr. Speaker. In case of uh, escort, they mushroom all of them actually within the Garbatula trading center. Now, those places, Mr. Speaker, which are being taken over by forcefully by the neighboring people from the neighboring counties, Mr. Speaker, are even renamed. It is even renamed. Uchan is being called Kambisamaki, Mr. Speaker. So this is a criminal act action which in, has happened in the eyes of the government, the national government, Mr. Speaker, and our county government. Mr. Speaker, it is the children which have been affected, Mr. Speaker, displaced. The displaced people suffer a lot of psychological problems, Mr. Speaker. They don't need just to be settled back, Mr. Speaker. They must be told why the displacement, forceful displacement by heavily armed militia, Mr. Speaker, has never been investigated up to today by any government institution, including the county government, Mr. Speaker. It needs actually to be investigated, Mr. Speaker. And those who have planned and executed the displacement, Mr. Speaker, must be taken to books. Legal measures must be taken, Mr. Speaker, not only this, returning these people to their home. Mr. Speaker, the people have suffered psychological problems. Mr. Speaker, they have been forcefully disengaged from the area they have been having an ancestral attachment, Mr. Speaker. It is actually human, serious human rights violation, Mr. Speaker. They were rendered poor, Mr. Speaker, because most of those incidences, their livestock have been taken away, Mr. Speaker. Their houses have been destroyed, Mr. Speaker. This county has got a responsibility to restock those communities which are being returned, Mr. Speaker. You cannot change their life all of a sudden by giving them an agricultural activities, Mr. Speaker, when culturally they are actually known as cattle herders, camel herders, Mr. Speaker, which they have got a lot of attachment to it, Mr. Speaker, by right. Now they were displaced, Mr. Speaker. Economically, they were reduced to poverty, Mr. Speaker. Over a long time, it has not been addressed, Mr. Speaker. This county has got a role, Mr. Speaker, to constitute a special team, Mr. Speaker, to investigate, Mr. Speaker, and come up with a solution to settle these people, Mr. Speaker, compensate them, restock them, Compensate them for the property they have, they, have, they have lost, Mr. Speaker. 
This is overdue, Mr. Speaker. Those displays have suffered a lot of psychological problems, Mr. Speaker. They feel they are neglected, Mr. Speaker. Those students which have been displaced those days, Mr. Speaker, because some of these incidents are over a long time, Mr. Speaker, they will wonder whether they have ever had leaders and government, Mr. Speaker. It is the creation of the highest order, Mr. Speaker, when the solution has never been found and actually amicably settled these people, Mr. Speaker. In Kenya, Mr. Speaker, we have got people displaced from Corbesa. Mr. Speaker, these are the frustrated members of these communities today, every day, going to neighbors, asking for food, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, you go to, to uh, places like Tokocho, God say, Mr. Speaker, along this corridor, where now there is this mega project going to Mordogash, Mr. Speaker, the same national government, with the county keeping silent, Mr. Speaker, the World Bank wants to build infrastructure for those aggressors, Mr. Speaker. The, the World Bank money, Mr. Speaker, which we keep quiet because we have been left out of development, Mr. Speaker, that when we talk of the, those issues on press or go to court, Mr. Speaker, against the World Bank, we are seen as the, reducing uh, a, a, a development, Mr. Speaker. But this county must do planning of all those places which people have been displaced, Mr. Speaker. Invest and restore the hope of the people which have been displaced, Mr. Speaker. Those names which you find even the administrative, administrative unit, Mr. Speaker, are now calling with the names which those aggressors have renamed our, 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 our centers, Mr. Speaker. Tokocho, Mr. Speaker. Garse, all of it belonging to Isiolo County communities, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Uchan is being called Kambisamaki, Mr. Speaker, in a security meeting. The same administration is also referring that place with, the, the, with that name, Mr. Speaker. So these injustices, Mr. Speaker, must be addressed. People must be given an alternative. I support the motion that the micro, I mean, they have to be supported in some uh, business, Mr. Speaker. Not even a small scale business, Mr. Speaker. Should be big scale business, Mr. Speaker, where uh, 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 investment, actually they should be trained, addressed psychologically, Mr. Speaker, being taught on what alternative they can be able to, to, to if it is trained. They must be given enough money, Mr. Speaker, compensate for the loss, and if it is an alternative because of the climate change and the, and the drought that we have suffered, most livestock, Mr. Speaker, we, we lost, uh, then restocking has to be done, Mr. Speaker. Recently, we have been visited by the Minister for Internal Security, where we requested, Mr. Speaker, to be given uh, a weapon, Mr. Speaker, for the, for the, what do you call, Home Guard, Mr. Speaker, to supplement a uh, national government security effort. Ten days given, 14 days given, Mr. Speaker, just went like that. Nothing has been done so far, Mr. Speaker. There is unseen, unseen forces which goes against the interest of this, the communities of Seoul, Mr. Speaker. Because all of a sudden, the girls that we have been promised, Mr. Speaker, is not there. It's very unfortunate. In 14 days' time, the minister say there is actually graduation of the police and GSUs, Mr. Speaker, registration police, that even he mentioned how many size of forces we shall be given and placed out in Yamicha, Mr. Speaker, in home, to be placed in Corbesa, in Honorable uh, 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 Abdrashid, his area, Mr. Speaker, escort. Nothing has happened, Mr. Speaker. He promised actually in January, by mid of January, Mr. Speaker. We are going to march. This county needs to follow up, Mr. Speaker, with the national government. With this, Mr. Speaker, I support the motion and I urge the House actually to be able to contribute, Mr. Speaker, and put a timeline in which these people will be, the, the hope of the people displaced should be restored, Mr. Speaker. Thank you so much, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. 
and thank you for all the members who supported the motion. And uh, uh, to uh, this uh, health uh, issue, health is a core sector, and it is uh, one of the sector that are, are very critical for our. Uh, I think you are confusing. Health was an issue of uh, notice of motion. We are, we are on the settlement of displaced families. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry for that. <coughs> the settlement of the displaced families. As we know, uh, the displacement comes as a result of uh, the insecurity. Uh, in the area, and uh, mostly uh, the people who are displaced are the people who are in the periphery of the wards. And uh, because of the security, those people left their homes and uh, relocated to other places. And I think it is our uh, responsibility as leadership of this county uh, to plan for these people to go back to, the, to their respective uh, places of uh, uh, their location, they are, uh, where they usually uh, have known how to live and they run their, uh, their life, livelihood with ease. Now, they, any, uh, with anybody who, are, who is replaced, uh, I mean displaced, usually everything is distorted uh, in their life, uh, in the whole, in their entire life not schooling, not how to, uh, uh, the normal ways of uh, uh, feeding their family. All the normalcy in their life is being uh, affected and these people live as, uh, uh, as strangers in the area that they are, uh, they are living now. In, for example, in my area, the Lakole uh, people who were, were just re recently uh, re relocated back. But the life is not as, as normal. Because those people, the Lakole, Yamicha, Lafe, those are the areas which are frequently uh, displaced. They, they run away and they have nothing to do uh, without any support, without any, uh, any intervention from the, uh, from the government. Uh, they decide now uh, they go back. But you know, it is not... Uh, uh, usually guaranteed that they continue staying on because the insecurity is with them every now and then and now it is a time that as a county uh, we think of how to permanently solve this kind of uh, condition. One of the conditions is that uh, right now uh, in conjunction with the county government, uh, the, the, our governor uh, and the national government uh, that we are going to uh, supply enough, provide enough uh, firearms to the to our to the national police reserves, uh, so that people are able to uh, to protect their lives and their properties. But it's not yet forthcoming because, as much as maybe the strategy is being uh, adopted and the the internal security went two times back to our. Uh, to our, our area promising the NPR. Up to, up to now, uh, we have not realized uh, the, the NPR firearms and the insecurity is continuing. One of the, 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 the way that uh, these uh, issues of displacement can be uh, tackled permanently is by, uh, by that strategy. And we are hiding uh, the county um, uh, the county commissioner and the security team, maybe to uh, uh, because entirely the issues of of security is with the national with the national government, and we are as county government because we are we are we are coexisting in the same uh, county and we are serving the same people. We are concerned that there is a need uh, to probe further why this delay. Uh, we are taxing that to, the, to our national leaders because this is uh, uh, the business of national government. And the, I, as the grassroots leader, as severally contacted uh, the, and hoping that 
uh, this issue will be uh, uh, will be uh, uh, settled. Uh, secondly, what is in our reach is to, to help them resettle uh, normally, because these people have lost livestock. Most of them are the people who are affected by the raid. Their livestock are taken away. Now these people have uh, zero uh, livelihood. They cannot. Uh, they don't have. Uh, they have nothing to depend on. Uh, the livestock, are, which is their only. A means of livelihood has been taken away, and these people they are confused when they are back. They don't know where to initiate their life. So, with uh, as county government, I think we are uh, we are uh, taxed, or we are the people who are uh, who have that uh, mandate of helping them to resettle by helping them to uh, by compensating them and even helping to restock them. Uh, uh, though now the issue of uh, drought may be the issue, this is now can go into stages. Now that um, it is an uh, emergency period, can we help these people to at least meet their uh, their daily uh, 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 their daily basic need of food uh, and shelter for those who are their homes were destroyed? And meanwhile, as we are planning when the rain comes. To, to to help them to uh, to restock or compensate for what they have lost. Compensation cannot be only in terms of uh, livestock, but can be in terms of uh, cash, so that these people can even because even the uh, the uh, the pastoralism life seems to be very difficult. The pastoralism uh, life may not be uh, uh, as at now with the weather changing continuously with this climatic. Uh, global uh, climate change. Uh, the, our uh, the livestock um, livelihood, the lifestyle may not be attained. Uh, can we maybe uh, try an alternative livelihood? Like now, the Lafe people. Uh, now that they lost uh, their livestock, uh, there are, there are people who are running away back, away back, and continuously being affected. Now they have uh, started. Uh, irrigation if you're using the bohol water. So can we help them? Can we help them to, uh, to, uh, to uh, for this period that when somebody is farming, you know, you need energy. Uh, right now there is no food, uh, there, there is uh, no source of any food, they don't have livestock. So can, uh, can we make sure that they, they, for this period that they are farming, until this uh, whatever they are farming is right, can we help them by uh, providing them with food uh, and also with tools and also with other equipments which will help them with the security also with the security in terms of the guards uh, and the NPR uh, this uh, at least in, for the period that they are coming and so that we encourage them as much as we, we also uh, involve the, uh, the 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 development partners uh, the, the is similar. Uh, these people, they are now yearning for going back to their area. They are asking uh, the county government hand, helping hand, so that they will resettle back to their area. They start now afresh their life again, which is too difficult. Can there be support, which is, I know it is possible, that there's nothing impossible. We are able, uh, as much as we have limited resources, <coughs> but if we can uh, replan and uh, uh, be able after that um, uh, intention of helping them, we are able. So I'm saying uh, this motion is uh, timely. These people want to uh, to go back to their their forest. Some have gone and some are willing to go back. So as county government, uh, the special program uh, in the in the governor's office and the agriculture sector and all the livelihood trade sector and all the livelihood sector which are concerned with this uh, support can chip in and help these people to resettle back. Otherwise, uh, we know that uh, uh, refugee in your own county, is, uh, is it can add up to the failure of the, the leaders in the area. So can we wake up and uh, make some effort so that we reset all these people, not only in my area, uh, already mentioned by the majority leader, there are several uh, 
uh, areas in this county where people are, are displaced, they are away from home, they are suffering, they don't know how to live in those areas, they have not adapted. So these people who have been running their own life now, they are dependent on others. So can we help them to settle back? Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Governor. <coughs> I now put the question, uh, motion, sorry. Uh, I now put the question, motion, the settlement of displaced families due to drought and insecurity. I am aware that Article 21 of the Constitution of Kenya 2010 states that it is the duty of the state and every state organ to observe, respect, protect, promote, and fulfill the rights and fundamental freedoms in the Bill of Rights. Further aware that all state organs and all public officers have the duty to address the needs of vulnerable groups within society, including women, older members of society, persons with disabilities, children, youth, members of minority or marginalized communities, and members of particular ethnic, religious, or cultural communities. Concerned that insecurity has been as a result of pastoralist communities wandering in with their livestock from their normal areas of occupancy in search of scarce resources, such as pasta and water bringing clashes brought about by intercommunal raids. Further concerned that these intercommunal raids have caused displacement of families in the affected areas in many wards that border neighboring countries, among others. <coughs> Worried those displaced families are suffering from insufficient or lack of food, shelter, water, health services, <coughs> and among other basic human and livestock needs. This house, therefore, urges the county executive to alleviate suffering of the affected families by providing them with the relief supplies alternative source of livelihoods such as small-scale businesses, small-scale household irrigation with a bid to settle them. I now put the question. Will as many of the same opinion say aye? Aye. Those of contrary opinion say nay? Aye, darling. Next order. That's all for today. Thank you. Uh, we now adjourn the house to uh, tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, 29. Sorry, first March at 9 a.m. Thank you.